What are some family-friendly things to do around Las Vegas? Find out next on Jaycation. What's up, JK Shooters? Welcome back to another video here in the Las Vegas series. Today, we're gonna show you around family-friendly spots in Las Vegas. And I want you to comment down below. Do you think Las Vegas is family-friendly? Should you bring your kids here? Behind me is New York, New York. We're gonna go there a little later on. The famous roller coaster is over there that goes all around it. We're gonna start off right behind me, right here at Excalibur and check out their arcade. So I'm gonna show you guys arcades, a few candy shops. Comment down below if I missed a few things. I can't possibly cover everything, but I'm gonna show you as many arcades and kid-friendly things to do here. All right, JK Shooter, so I have a treat. I have a buddy with me. This is Sean. What's up, What's JK? On, How man? are you? One of my uh, San Diego buddies and Dad Cation's buddies. We're big Padre fans, too. Worked with the Padres for 15 years, actually. Wow. Yeah, 15 of my 18 years in San Diego, now in Vegas. And now you're here at the Fun Dungeon. Yes, sir. And we're doing family-friendly things in Vegas. What's some cool things around here? This is one of the best. We have what we call midway games, which are like carnival games. This one's called Flag and Toss, where people uh, take a wiffle ball and try to land it in the color cup so they can win a prize. It's about 180 arcade games. We have 10 different carnival games. Uh, the most fun ones are the competition ones where people can play against each other for a stuffed animal. Uh, we also have right over here to JJ's right a 4D theater. They put out 15 minute movies that have a lot of great features and special effects. A lot of amazing games and new games. I was telling JJ this Connect 4 to his right over here. That's a new game as well. Nice. Uh, we have a new set of ski balls in. We have new air hockey. So we're doing a lot to make it a little bit more newer and fresher down here. Um, and we're really excited about what's going to happen in 2023. Uh, bring a lot of great family friendly entertainment to Excalibur and the Fun Dungeon for all you guys that want to come here and bring your kids. Whoa. Or even just bring the adults to have some adult fun as well too. We all want to come play some games here. Speaking of adults having fun, how about we play your newest game? Which one? You want to go play uh, Break the Play? Let's, let's play Break the Play. Are you up for it? I'm up for it. Let's, let's do go, it. Man. I like cool. it. It's harder with a camera. Check from the side when you see it hit a plate. Uh -huh. You see plastic things pop up. We got, we got Sean doing it now. Ooh, you're a champ at this, a pro at this. Look, pure luck. <laughs> There's actual eliminated plastic that's popping out there. Nice, oh, I see it. That's pretty cool. Yeah, our newest game just came in this week. There you go, brand new, straight from Sean. A lot of good stuff down here. <laughs> All right, let's try our hand over at the moat, guys, and see if I can uh, score myself a prize. It's moving beer pong. Yeah, basically. All right, last one. Fail. <laughs> the moat is tough. Over eight. So you're gonna get five shots, make at least three out of five to get a prize. Three out of five, you get a crown or a tiara. Four out of five, you get a brown Excalibur bag. You make all five, you get the big Excalibur. Done deal, let's do it. Any suggestions here? So I would swish it because um, there's a bouncy rubber boss. Got it, swish. Bounce. There you go, one for one. Oh, one for two. <laughs> Two for three, three for four, one more you get a brown Excalibur bear. Oh, uh, three, for, three for five. Three for five. So you get a crown of Princess Tiara. A king's crown, please. King's crown. Thank you, sir. You're very welcome. Appreciate it, Tatiana. Uh, uh, yes. Thanks, man. You're very welcome. <laughs> All right, guys, I won one. You got something. You know what? Let's go. Let's you're go one more. Let's go one more. There you go. One for one. Ooh, one for two. Two for three. Three for four. One more, you get the brown bear. There you go. You got a brown Excalibur bear. Winner, winner. There you go. All right. All right. All right. Got the brown bear, four of five. Not 100%, but make your free throws. We won the teddy bear, we won a crown. That was fun. Check out this bag I got from the Fun Dungeon. MVP, most valuable player. If it's your birthday, you'll get this. Look at this, this is a hug me animal. Got some candy in here. Ooh, is that a dragon? It's a cow. It looked like a dragon from the top. Got some candy and an MVP button. I like it. Oh, you get two MVP buttons. Awesome. 
they have the tournament, a king's dinner show here, which is fun. You can get medieval, all Game of Thrones-ish over here and check out some old school tournament of kings dinner show. I would definitely like to see this one day. I have never gone yet, but that's definitely on the list. But let's tour around the fun dungeon and see what they have to offer. They even have a game here called Boat Blasters where you shoot the water into the boat. First one wins. You got Slam and Jam over here. It, this goes uh, in a circular way beneath the casino. They got Puffs Magic Balloons. And this game is called Bushels O Basket. So you gotta throw it into that basket, I'm guessing. And then this game is called Lucky Duck. You also got your arcade prize and redemption over this way as well. Right in the middle of the arcade is a Dairy Queen Orange Julius where you can get your blizzards and ice cream treats. This game looks fun. This one's called The Moat and they have a serpent Loch Ness Monster here. Want to catch yourself a little Stark Wolf? Well, they have the big one crane. I'm guessing this would be hard to win. For you parents with infants or little smaller kids, they got a mini carousel, small air hockey, little baby games and fun. If you uh, throw whatever you need to throw into those colored cups, you win yourself a Pikachu. There it is, the fun dungeon. The next family friendly spot to check out here in Vegas is over at the Showcase Mall. And it's called M&M's World, that's right get your chocolate sugar rush on here at M&M's World. I know that this is a popular place because all my nieces and nephews want to go here when they're in Vegas. And they also have another place across the street that has to do with chocolate, so we'll show you that as well. And it says, share the love with M&M's. So here's the first floor. I can already smell the sugar and chocolate here. They have a ton of shirts. Don't bother holding your applause. And I saw my friend Jeff's kids rocking matching shirts. Brother or sister can get their favorite M&M colored shirts and uh, match together. I'd get this one. I woke up like this, the blue M&M. They got a nice Las Vegas display here. They even got a slot machine that dispenses M&Ms. That's pretty cool. Look at that. They even have M&M boxers. And this place is four floors. Started at 1954. And look at the evolution. It goes all the way up to 2023. They even got a baby section here for infants. And here are the different colored M&Ms. M&Ms that you usually won't get in other places too. Huge dispensers. I know all these dispensers are really popular. Look at all the different ones that they have. About $24.99. Slot machine. Oh look, these are different colored. And then you can pick up a bag, a half a pound for $8.99 over here. Oh, kids will love this place. They even have an Instagram area here. Supporting women, flipping the status quo. Be you and be proud. Nice message. Here on the third floor, they have Skittles Remix and an M&M World photo booth. They have a green screen here so you can personalize your M&Ms and get pictures of you on the M&Ms. Check these little uh, house slippers out. You can do your dollar M&M penny right here. Here's the M&Ms World personalized area. They have touch screens where you can personalize your M&Ms and there's the pricing right there. They even have a tie-dye section for M&Ms. And then they have a little Las Vegas, Nevada. Welcome to Las Vegas sign with four M&Ms here. You could pose with M&Ms race car here with M&M characters posing. This is a famous Las Vegas chocolate spot. It's called Ethel M's Chocolates, and they have a section devoted to Ethel M's. Nice, and a little sweet history of chocolate. And then if you want M&M pillows and some stationery, they got that over here as well. And some customized Vegas M&M shirts. And there's actually an exit on the fourth floor where you can connect to the Coke factory, which is another family-friendly-ish thing you can do, but... I don't know, some people don't want to give their kids soda. Check out this boxing champ, M&M right here. I love the M&M championship belt. So that was four floors of chocolate. Now we're gonna cross the street over to New York, New York and show you another chocolate spot before we go to another arcade. Made it directly across the street and we are at M&M's competitor. This is Hershey's Chocolate World at New York, New York. You got your Hershey's Kisses, your Reese's Peanut Butter Cup and your classic Hershey's candy bar. Let's go inside and see what they have to offer. All right, we're starting at the top. Here is Hershey's Chocolate World. Look at this Statue of Liberty with made out of licorice, it looks like. Wow, they got all different types of candies. Twizzlers, Jolly Rancher, Kisses, Reese's Pieces. You name it, they have it here. It even turns 
orangey yellowish here and it's like you're inside a Reese's peanut butter cup this whole section right here is Reese's look at that they even have a dispenser down here on the first floor they have a Hershey's kitchens they sell bags of Hershey's actually this place is not as big as M&M's world but still if you're liking this brand more they have a ton of stuff not a fan of almond joy though wow this is new I thought this was their cookies and cream which is my favorite no it's cotton candy flavor what downstairs they have the chocolate statue of liberty all right let's see if we could find my favorite flavor well, they got chocolate hazelnut cookies and mint I don't see the cookies and cream they got birthday cake no cookies and cream though what's your favorite Hershey's chocolate mine is the cookies and cream of course comment down below the next family friendly spot is the Manhattan Express and the New York New York arcade which has the famous New York New York roller coaster and a ton of games right when you enter they do have a Nathan's famous hot dogs so this is the entryway to the Big Apple coaster and arcade so the hours of operation the arcade is 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. Monday to Thursday Friday to Sunday 10 a.m. to midnight and this is the entrance to the arcade all your claw machines all you can ask for uh, let's make a way around here it's like a little roundabout they got your racing games you can get your game cards and coaster tickets from these kiosks right here it's a little maze too so if you hook a right here there are a ton of other games this was not open coming out of the pandemic so it's all functional now right here the redemption center and the big apple coaster is down the way look at that there's my lakers so i'd be shooting over at this nba hoops lake show baby i'm wearing my d fish jersey today they also got some ski ball and your air hockey here as well and they do have lockers for your big apple coaster because you can't bring stuff with you dad cation has lost his eyeglasses on this when i was a teenager years back but here is the entrance to it quite a few people are trying to get in here got your red zone rush over here there's tom brady if you like the price is right they got a plinko game here as well i actually think this arcade has got a lot so this and excalibur are pretty impressive they even have packages here central park pack for 49 bucks they have a scream pass for 49 bucks all day ride pass two dollars off your five by seven photo how much is a single ride though the coaster actually starts at 11 a.m so it goes a little later uh general admission is 19 bucks from 11 to 6 p.m 6 p.m the close is 23 for one ride if you re-ride it's uh discount and it's 10 and 15 dollars your next family friendly hotel to check out here in las vegas is the brand new horseshoe which used to be bally's they just opened up an area here called the arcade and this entire area is full of exhibitions mini golf courses and even a really cool cabinet of curiosities bar but for the kids this brand new arcade here has a ton of racing games they even have a prize area where you can claim your tickets this used to be the old caesar sportsbook and there's a new one opening up soon but this is a really cool place to take your kids and they also have a lot of other things around the hallway here at horseshoe so i definitely recommend this area as a family friendly place in las vegas they have an x world 360 virtual reality here for you and the family to enjoy and it's right next to the cabinet of curiosities which parents can go and have drinks this is also where the game of thrones exhibition is going to be eventually and right now they still have real bodies rarely seen national geographic exhibition as well right next to the professional massage area we've made it over to twilight zone by monster mini golf and they do have mini bowling lanes here as well but also in the inside is a glow-in-the-dark room twilight zone style of miniature golf this looks really fun and although you have the brand new arcade you have a photo studio deluxe and a few fun zone machines here with the claws those games are the hardest ever to succeed in but they do have these outside of the arcade area too the hours for the twilight zone is sunday to thursday 12 p.m to 10 p.m and friday to saturday from 12 p.m to 11 p.m here's the inside of the mini golf course here maybe you parents or older siblings aunts and uncles need an o2 refreshing so they have a vitality bar here as well i know your kids got a sweet tooth they have a lick candy shop here where they can actually pick up their candies customize the bags by weight and also get pre-made bags too although this is your family friendly video you do have to be 21 to enter the bar area and they do have a few pinball games tvs and a full bar and you can play some video poker too at the counter if you want some overpriced fast food come over here get your 750 s borrow pizza
This is the second floor of the Strat and this is where you get your tickets to go up to the top floor to see the top of the world and Skypod. And I like how they show how they measure up to the other towers and monuments around the world. 1,149 feet is the Strat and it's because of that long and pointy end. So right here is the entrance to 108 Eats, 108 Drinks, Skypod and the Thrill Rides. You have to go through security over here and you take the elevator up. You also got top of the world chops, cocktails and views. That really nice restaurant that you see in a lot of Instagram. Instagram reels. That's how it looks. This is the retail shop area, the strat that I was telling you about. That could be family friendly. They do have a little arcade over here. Let's take a look and see what they have in here. Oh, they got this scary looking thing here. He bites, okay. Zombie shooting game it looks like over here. Pac-Man Battle Royale. Monster Crane. Man, this is like spooky holiday carnival. The Grim Reaper over here and a few racing games. It's actually not that big of an arcade. Let's say they also got your air hockey and a pro striker mini bowling lane here and your cruising blast. I love playing cruising USA growing up. Pretty small arcade down here, but I'm guessing up top where all the rides are, the coasters and that one ride where you're hanging off the edge of the strat. No, thank you. I'm not going to do that. You can also jump off the strat, but I don't know if that's family friendly. So you're going to want to go up there, but it is pretty pricey. If, even for residents, I heard it was pretty pricey to go up there. Am I willing to pay that money? Nah, we'll just show you guys the B-roll and tell you if you want to go up there and you're here for the extreme thrills, that's where you're going to want to go. Y'all know I love The Walking Dead and they have a Walking Dead game here with a lit-eyed zombie. Yeah, don't mess with this dude. He bites. Uh-huh, and if you want a little uh, card and advice from the king, thank you, thank you very much. You can come over here. When I was a kid, I was enamored with magic tricks and gags and jokes and stuff. And one of these stores is something I would have loved going to. So bring your family in here, learn some magic tricks, maybe get a whoopee cushion or one of those buzzer shockers. Yeah, look at that. There's like a bunch of stuff you can get over here. And then if you want to get a little risky, they do have the sky jump check-in over here. I don't know if this area is family friendly. Definitely for a couple times. Time, I guess but I like their Chinatown themed and then they have like an old metropolitan Paris style entryway here I believe that they probably had an old-school theme here at the Strat that's changed through the years kind of like the Aladdin over at Miracle Mile shops where you see remnants of it and it's still up this is totally Vegas you got a kids galore store here but right next to it is a tattoo shop and next up you got your Mickey D's so if the kids want the golden arches and them nuggets and happy meals you can take them over to Mickey D's Right by the entrance of the Skypod, they also have a virtual reality experience here. So if you want to check out the ultimate virtual reality experience, they have it here too. They have this neon dancing show called Illuminate. And it looks like a lot of people are going to check it out. It looks like a fun place to go. All right, let's take a look at how much it is to buy tickets here. So the observation deck itself is 24 bucks. Sky Jump is 133. If you want to do some thrill rides, it starts at 15. Illuminate is 49 bucks. And then they also offer all these different tours here. I do believe if you're staying here at the Strat, you get a big discount or even get up there for free. If you're checked in here, if you are attending a show here at the theater, they'll give you a $10 ticket, which is usually about 24 to get up to the Skypod. Another family friendly place here at the Strat is Strat Cafe. Pretty cool looking diner here. You can bring the kids here after or before a day of thrill rides and arcades. Your next family friendly place to check out I wouldn't say come here at night or even to stay here, but you want to check out the Adventure Dome and their arcade here. They have a ton of stuff, a ton of fun. A little more on the dirty side, not gonna lie, but they have a ton of coasters, a ton of carnival games. This is the Adventure Dome. You can come in here and buy a day pass. I think it's like 60 bucks for adults, 30 for juniors. And they have a ton of rides here. You can get a wristband. And I think this time of year, it's open from like 10 to seven during spring break they expand their hours in summer they expand hours but they do have the roller coaster here uh, let's go over to the midway and show you more of the midway as well I would have shown you guys what's up inside here but problem is I had my pepper spray with me and they wouldn't let me take the pepper spray inside <laughs> anyways we're gonna go to the midway and check out what they got going on in the midway here are the times it usually opens around 11 a.m. from Monday to Friday till 9 p.m. and then on Fridays it's 11 a.m. to midnight 10 a.m. To midnight Saturday and 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. on Sunday. What's fun and unique about the Midway is they have circus shows 
and acrobatics over here featured every half hour or so. And then they also got carnival games. You can pick up prizes and a ton of arcades. And it's like a circular second floor area here at Circus Circus, which I've been going to since I was a kid. And I remember being so excited in the early 90s going to this place. They got skee-ball. If you didn't watch Norman Helly's video on Family Vacation, we do a segment here. It was a really fun time. They got games like Camel Chase, Mini Basketball, Superman games here with those coins. They got darts. I used to play those dart games all the time. Knock your block off. Human Cannonball, Touchdown Super Bowl, Star Darts over here. That classic game where you go fishing for that chicken. And then right here is people waiting for the showtime to start. Looks like it starts at the half hour mark. The classic Midway. This was my childhood and I'm in my mid to late 30s. It's still a good place to come during the day. Like I said, during the day. Drive here to Circus Circus. Take the kids here. I feel dirty just walking around this casino. Don't stay here. Stay somewhere else. If you're looking for family friendly activities to do, you got the Midway and then you also got the Adventure Dome. Just don't bring your pepper spray like I did. <laughs> Downstairs they have slot machines that revolve. This is like a revolve carousel a little old school uh, carousel here that I never really noticed revolves and if you don't want to win prizes and spend all that money on games you can just go to the Midway gift shop and pick up some souvenirs see down there a classic game the big ring where you throw those red rings onto the coke bottles I never win that and then on the house around carousel bar no alcohol but just chips and popcorn and cotton candy this isn't the bar you're thinking of guys continuing on you got I love this game growing up the big apple where you throw darts at balloons and and the water race. Oh, I hate clowns though. You guys know me and clowns. We don't work well together. This area is their little midway treat section and I grew up loving icy. Do kids still like icy nowadays? Because that was my favorite drink. I like to get the mix of the blue and the red. Like I said, if you want to claim your prizes, you can come into the prize section here and claim your tickets. I feel nasty just walking around here, but I had to show you guys the classic Circus Circus. Over here at MGM Grand, they do have a small arcade here with a virtual reality powered by zero latency here. A couple of ski balls, few machines, racing games, but not too much. But here at MGM Grand, they do have a great pool, and I think it's one of my favorite pools for a family friendly experience. They also got Hot Shot here and a bunch of other things. If you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. I saw that 78% of you aren't subscribed when you're watching my videos, and I'd really appreciate it. We're trying to get to 100,000 in 2023, and if you're a family watching this, Please subscribe and have everybody that has a Google account subscribe and like the video. Alright, you guys, see you in the next one. It was me. Stay traveling in Las Vegas. Let's go.